Yeah. Yeah, it has a check mark. <sighs> yeah. I'm not surprised. We we all knew it was coming. We just Yeah. We all knew it was coming. Um Yeah. <laughs> That's all. That's all you can say, really. You just like, hold on, let me say right there. Just tweet it. Right there. Right there. That, 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 that's how we all feel it right now. Like, <clears throat> it, it, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't surprise. Like, they fell for a debate. He was on that I am athlete, whatever. Um, Even the crowd was like, whoa. Well, that that's how we all feeling, and we ain't even wooing. We just like, <sighs> like this. Oh man, <laughs> oh, if Lamar leaves, I don't even blame him. I won't even be mad at him. I know I do not want him to leave. Let me repeat. I do not want him to leave, but if that young man wants a Super Bowl, this type of crap right here, it's not benefiting him. It's not benefiting the Ravens. It's not benefiting the fan base. Like, you're literally getting a 35, 36-year-old guy in the depressing part of it. Possibly he's better than everything we have right now. I know Deb doing his thing, sort of, sort of, but what he have in last week's game, game against the Giants, what did he have? Trash. And this organization does not care. They're stuck in their old ways. I know a lot of people are going to come at Eric DaCosta, and I 100% understand, but you have to remember, his mentor is Ozzie Newsom. And this is what Ozzie Newsom did back in the day, and he passed it on to Eric DaCosta. And that's what we're stuck with. We're stuck with Harbs, we're stuck with getting these old players. And signing on don't know how many outside linebackers to the practice squad use them, then ship them out, and then sign someone else that's old. So any wide receivers that's out there, that's 30 plus, comes on the Ravens, because that's what they do. They did the same thing for Flacco. They're doing the same thing for Lamar. They're getting these older players. And they're one of the best players that they got for Flacco was Anquan Bode. They had Derrick Mason, he was killing it. He was up there in age. When they got Derrick Mason, he was 30 years old. I said Derrick Mason. He and Quan Bowden, he was 30 years old. He still killed it. Went went to the uh, Super Bowl, helped us win it. Him and Flacco was that dynamic connection. How they respect this man, they let him go. He had better yardage the next year in San Francisco for three years straight. Look it up. It's ridiculous. You do good in Baltimore, they give you trash. They gave, they gave Black old Crabtree and Mc, what's that McLean or whatever. They gave him all that crap. And I have a Crabtree jersey only because he's from the detail. They gave Lamar Dez Bryant for one or two games. I have his jersey too, thanks to McQueen. And he's from the D town, which I still represent, cause he is one of the realest. But nothing's gonna change. This, this is what it is. I don't even think this video is gonna be this long, but yeah, just so much on my mind, so much frustration. And I know people are like, man, it just, it just. This is over the years with so many new Raven fans. This is over the years. Look at the stats. Harbs only won how many playoffs games since 2012? I believe one. 
And then he went on a losing streak, didn't even make the playoffs until Lamar came in. I can make a whole video on that again. It's some stuff I didn't even say in my other videos. But anyway, yeah, so uh, the son Jackson, 35 years old, back in the NFL for his 15th NFL season. Yeah, Lamar Jackson, when he was drafted, Lamar Jackson was 11, 12 years old, something like that. That's the Ravens way. They go to your senior citizens home, go to retirement homes. We get our wide receivers. I know people going, Gus is coming back. Yes, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whoop de doo. Doesn't change the fact. This is what we get for Lamar. This is how we show this man we appreciate him. They're giving him old wide receivers. They don't want to give up picks, and it's uh, it's just tiring. Instead of giving proven talent like DJ Moore, you want to keep that one for the next Matt Elam or something. It's, I don't I, I don't know I don't know. Had Hollywood gave him away, didn't even pick no not one wide receiver throughout the whole draft. What kind of organization? This is the Ravens way. It's just, oh, man, I don't know. But, yeah, so Deshaun Jackson. Now, we don't know when Bateman is going to come back. So, we're going to look at Deshaun Jackson, D-Rob, Devin DuVernay, Tylen Wallace, James Prochet. Mm, mm, mm. That's what they get. <laughs> oh, God, it's so bad. That's what they give Lamar. It could have been Robbie Anderson. No, we don't want to give away a sixth and seventh. Not even for next year's draft. Two years down the road. We don't want to give that away, no. At least I thought give a fifth, but I guess the fifth, fifth giving away fifth picks, I guess that was just a two-time thing. That's it. But, yeah, so, um, Yeah, so Sean Jackson. I and looking through these tweets just real quick before I end this video. Looking through these tweets, <laughs> they even got my boy KD over here. Look, look, at, look at that. Look at that. That's how we all feeling right now. That is how we all feel it. And they gonna try to justify it. They're gonna try somebody gonna try to hype it up. That's what they try to do. And we all know it's crap. But anyway, hopefully y'all are having a great day. Don't let this bring you down. Because this is the Ravens way.